most federal judges are very thorough in what they do. And clearly this is an issue of, of extreme importance to the public. We were uh, uh, very happy that the judge uh, picked up on the line of questioning that he did because it uh, is pretty much parallels the written response we filed today as well as the, uh, the argument that I tried to make in court today. Two reactions to the federal judge's line of questioning. The Kentucky Department of Education has already given the Labor Cabinet the names of teachers who called in sick during the protests. But a deputy for the Attorney General's office says they still want a restraining order against the Cabinet. Well, I think it's a big deal in the sense that it's going to make teachers wonder where is the line that they have to address the issues that are in front of them. But, the judge asked, what about the students who missed school during protests and parents who had to miss work? Governor Matt Bevin's general counsel says they are the ones harmed. The, the parents and the, and, uh, of children and the children themselves have a constitutional right in this state to have an efficient system of schools. We cannot have an efficient system of schools in this state if, if uh, teachers are allowed to uh, in, engage in work stoppages and call off schools for day, days upon end. Now, the judge said that he would issue a written decision on the request for a restraining order, but he said he wasn't sure if it would be issued before Friday, the subpoena deadline. In Lexington, Mark Vanderoff, WLKY News.